What is going on, Mile High City? Welcome back to Broncos Country News. I am your host and anchor, Kale Malden. I did not think I would be making a preview video for a preseason game, but uh, this preseason game has a bit more weight to it, and you all know why. Uh, the Denver Broncos are set to take on the Minnesota Vikings after two days of joint practices. The Broncos are set to take on the Vikings at 2 p.m. on Saturday, and they're going to have a preseason game that will be highlighted, of course, by the quarterback competition and the split reps between Drew Locke and Teddy Bridgewater. So, let's just talk about that right now. Obviously, that's the main reason to watch this game. If we had a set starter, then we probably wouldn't be talking about this yet. Here we are. So, Drew Locke is going to start, they've announced. And then uh, next week against Seattle, they'll have Teddy start. Now, I don't know how long Minnesota will play their number one defense. So, that's going to be a question for uh, what Drew Locke's going to be going against for the... I would at least imagine the first half. If maybe just the first quarter goes to Drew, maybe the second to Teddy. Uh, if not, maybe like the first half to Drew, third quarter to Teddy, and then the fourth taken over by Brett with all the third stringers. And then like with Teddy first half, and then Drew the third. I, I don't know. Uh, next week, it's so weird. <laughs> I don't know how they're going to do this, but I imagine Drew will get the entirety of the first at least. So let's talk about what we're going to look for. For Drew, we need him to show that arm talent that he has that Teddy does not. And we need him to also keep the ball in our hands, keep the drive moving, uh, get it in the end zone, punch it in the red zone when you get it in there, which Teddy has struggled with. Both quarterbacks have had um, struggles in the red zone, um, though uh, Drew can't punch it in a little bit more from what I've seen. When it comes to Teddy and Drew, here's the thing. Practice at this point is out the window. You could be the greatest practice player in the history of the world, but if you can't get it done in a game, then all your practicing means jack. All right? We've seen that before. We all remember the great, uh, like I mentioned before, the great uh, great week of practice error. That was Vance Joseph, and it didn't translate. Keenum, great practice guy. Simeon, great practice guy. Couldn't quite get it done on the field. And I'm just going to... Uh, share a little personal tidbit with you guys and I talked about this on my Twitter and uh, here's what I said I as someone who has played has played football and just played sports before in general know that practice is the time for you to make mistakes if you're going to make mistakes anywhere it's got to be practice that's the safe place to make a mistake because then you can go back and correct it you can go back look at the film you can look at it again sure as fans we don't want to see mistakes but unfortunately it is practice it's going to happen and guess what I can also say, sometimes people can attest, you will sometimes mess up more than often than not, but if it makes you a better player and you're better on game day, then who cares? Uh, I would mess up on so many reps and we would, and on, uh, I play defense, we would beat the crap out of our offense sometimes. We would beat the crap out of the offense, but we knew you're going to average four or five touchdowns a game. We're going to shut out our opponent, so who cares? Uh, and it would work. It, ma it made everyone better. I would mess up reps, but I would get better. And by the time I hit the field, I was a better player because of it. Anyone who's played sports can attest to this. That you're going to naturally just get better through practice. Iron sharpens iron. That's, it's a, it's a common phrase, but it's a, it's, it's a true one. Uh, I'm excited to see what Teddy and Drew can do. Because I know Teddy is most likely just going to be himself, but if Drew can really apply some of the improvements he has made and some of the strides he's made, I think he can win this job pretty easily in these games. Because this is where it matters now. All that practice is out the window. Drew or Teddy could be the great practice player, greatest practice players of all time, but if they cannot get it done when it comes to a game, then who cares how good they look at practice so this is where it all comes down to other than that i'm excited to see how some of the rookies look i'm excited to see pat sertan uh some guys get used to the system i'm excited to see some of our young wideouts uh trinity benson and eric Sauber, who've had some pretty good connections with drew and teddy i'm excited to see them especially so uh this is going to be fun i actually am excited to see how this gets going uh uh, we're f I'm, I'm done with practice reports at this point. I am done with practice. I'm ready for a game. Uh, I never thought I'd be this excited for a preseason game, but after what felt like the weirdest offseason ever and the longest offseason ever, I think we all can agree it's time for some real football. Now, keep in mind this also for the offseason. I want fans to keep this in mind because we're going to lose sight of this. Offseason offense and defense is kept incredibly simple. 
Let's keep that in mind. It's not complex. They're not going to be throwing out trick plays and like some weird new stuff. They're going to save that for the regular season. You'll test that in practice, but you throw that in a game. Like, again, back to the analogy I point when I played sports and anyone who's, let's just say football, for example, if you played football at any competitive level, you can attest to this. You would practice trick plays in practice, but we would also have preseason scrimmages before the actual season would start. We really didn't throw out anything new. We just kind of ran our basic concepts because we had to know, hey, we got to know we can at least get the basic stuff down. Yeah, at least know you run your basic formations and plays because if you can't run that, then how can you trust yourself to run anything complex? I expect the offense is to run some basic stuff, basic some bootleg and play action to see how Drew and Teddy do on those. Um, some medium to deep passing concepts. I don't expect them to just basically go through four verts or anything like that. But this should be interesting. Um, it's going to be fun just watching them on Saturday. Two o'clock, too, so that'll be weird. Um, so we have to spend all uh, afternoon and evening discussing this game, uh, however it goes. Though I assume by the fourth quarter they'll have, like, the third stringers in, unless Teddy is still in. I don't know. But they may have, like, the third, third guys in, so I assume we'll all probably be winding down by that point and we'll be ready to talk um and if one quarterback has a great day and the other just kind of falls flat then it's going to be really hard to evaluate from game two because it's like okay we have a feeling of what each quarterback's going to be we could just name the starter now i imagine like if drew or teddy were to throw like three touchdowns somehow in a preseason game if they did that and the other quarterback really did badly like two interceptions or something like that i imagine they would probably name the starter because it's like okay i don't know if we really need another game to evaluate that if it's close then i imagine they'll give them one more game i hope the only reason that it's close is because both QBs just played well, like neither of them really did bad to separate. Uh, and I don't mean mediocre play, I mean like just good enough. Like both quarterbacks had touchdown drives, both quarterbacks had good completion percentages, both QBs look comfortable. That is the only reason I hope this is anywhere close after this first game. But uh, yeah, that's just my opinion on this, guys. Um, not much to talk about for a preseason preview other than the quarterback battle. So that's really the only reason we're here to watch it. But uh, let me know what you guys think we should look for in the comments below. Let me know what you're excited to see from Drew and Teddy. Um, anyways, that's it for me, guys. Uh, I'm excited. We are a month away from kickoff. A month away from kickoff. So anyways, that's it for me. Broncos country 303. I'll see you guys later.